So if you want to take off that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! She spit in my face! In today's video, we have a frauditor that goes by the name of Press NH Now, which stands for New Hampshire. And apparently he pressed a bit too hard because he was arrested for obstruction of a government building. Enjoy. Um, the police chief is uh, playing hard to get with these records and uh, He's not sending them to my email. Um, he wants to know who I am, uh, where I'm from, my PO box, or my address, my number. I mean, he wants all the information. He doesn't know who he wants to send this to or if it's getting to the right person. Excuses, guys, that you always hear. Um, so now I had to drive almost two hours away to go and get these records. I must admit, I don't know all the facts of the case because this frauditor has so many videos on his channel that deal with the same subject, I'm confused. But I can tell you the frauditor will need a safe space after he's finished with this encounter. Because um, I'm just as stubborn and uh, I didn't want to wait anymore. I do have the video coming up uh, regarding these records and uh, police chief. Over here in Charlestown, I'm in uh, Charlestown, New Hampshire. And I went over to do an audit in the area that you will see tomorrow at 11 o'clock, hopefully. Uh, it's going to be a lot of editing. Uh, I got a long day ahead of me. And I also got to go out tomorrow. I got a few places I want to hit up. A few places he wants to hit up. Translation, a few places to make problems. That's what frauditors do. They provoke people into making a reaction. It's all good for clicks and views on their YouTube channel. A few minutes later, we'll do a uh, permanent check of the uh, of the police department. Yeah, what about Lewis? So I don't see any fences, gates, or signs. Completely open to the public. If you look at the uh, trespassing statute, you'll uh, you'll see it's pretty defined in there. So according to this idiot. Unless there's a sign posted, you're free to walk about as you please. This means that you can walk into any business and just look around. <laughs> I don't know where these idiots come from or where their mind is. Or oh, maybe that's the problem. They don't have a mind. A little longer than a few minutes later. So we're going to go inside, guys. They know. Can I help you? Hi. Hi. I'm here to pick up some records. Okay, and your name? I didn't get that. The lady asks for his name, and he responds, I didn't give that. So how is she supposed to know which records you're there for? Unless you're that well known. It's right here. I, have a... I don't know if I can read it from here. Oh, it, it says right here. Yeah, I just need my records, please, from the chief that left it here. Where is the chief, anyway? He's the patrol officer today. Yeah. I'm not sure. Patrolling our town. Is he? Yeah. yeah. Hiding somewhere in the woods, parking lot or something? He shouldn't be. No. Okay. And why are you recording this? What do you mean? You're recording, aren't you? No. That seems to be a standard answer among all frauditors. Why are you recording? Well, you're recording. Uh, tit for tat. It sounds like two little kids arguing. This guy is clearly a few fries short of a Happy Meal. But let's carry on. There you are. This is right here. Security notice. Activities on the premises of being audio and video recorded. Okay, yes, my lobby's Yeah, can you... Do you mind shutting that off then? I don't have the authority to. Okay. You don't have the authority to tell me to. Okay. Geez, you... You said everything. 
striking out, huh? Should be right here. What uh, what is this entailing? What records? I have no idea. Well, I'd like to speak with him because he didn't even contact me about what records I'm picking up. Is it me, or does this frauditor sound like a whiny little Karen? Oh, I'd like to speak to him. Oh, I'd like to speak to him. I bet you would, but he's not there right now, so get over it. And where's my audio recording? I can request for him to come here. Please do. Please have a seat. I'll stand. Thank you. Damn. Strike three, huh? Excuse me? Strike three? What do you mean strike three? I'm sorry. My viewers understand. Okay. What's your name? Dispatcher 400. What's your name? Dispatcher 400. That's not your name. That's your ID number. What's your name? Dispatcher 400. You're going to refuse to give me a name? Frauditor, if I didn't know better, I would say you're trying to chat her up for a date. Is that so? What is in here? This doesn't feel like a recording, guys. Oh, and look at that. My name's on it. My full name is on this, right? And you guys make me come down here asking me who that is. Where do I send it? Unbelievable, guys. Yeah, I don't know, KM. I think they need to learn about public record laws. I'm fairly certain they understand public record laws, Frauditor. They're only doing that for your protection. They don't want to release the records to the wrong person. Then you would file another lawsuit. Or maybe that's what you wanted to do in the first place. I don't know. Hear them ring, guys. She don't look too busy over there. What's she looking at anyway? No, she called, no, she called over the radio to the chief. What's your direct number? It is, isn't it? Yeah. No, they were asking, that's all. The frauditor is on a live stream, if you haven't figured that out. And his many viewers across the nation are inquiring what the number is for the lady so they can call and harass her. Isn't that lovely? They may have some questions for you guys. Guys, if you have any questions, you can, uh, what is it, 401? 400? You could ask uh, Dispatch 401 what, is, what her name is. Maybe she'll let you know after the 100th ring, maybe? Our line is for emergencies. That's okay. You guys do not have to call. Wise move, Frauditor, because your viewers are most likely a few cans short of a six-pack, just like you're a few fries short of a Happy Meal. They're going to learn today, guys. Let me tell you. Where's my uh, communications? Where's my radio? Where's my audio? Where's all my pitches? Oh, look at guys. Oh, he literally printed them out. But I also asked for any radio communications. So... Not to worry, Frauditor. You will have the opportunity to speak to the chief in just a few minutes. Should you go or should you stay? If I were you, I'd go. But I'm not you. So please, carry on. Oh, is it Lisa? Dispatch Lisa Perry? Is that your name, Lisa? My name is not Lisa. It is not Lisa. So this dispatch is not named Lisa. Oh, look at that. They have all my information, but they wouldn't email this to me. Huh. Violating public records laws, huh? RSA 91A. You guys are going to learn today, aren't you? Making me drive two hours to get these records when you could have emailed them? Incredible, guys. The frauditor has continued the reference that they are going to learn today. When you say they, do you mean the police frauditor? And are you an educator? I thought you were a frauditor. I'm sorry. I'm confused. Can you explain, please? See, they just want to make it difficult. They wanted to come see me again. Yeah, he actually, I wonder if there's any video on his phone. I understand if you have he didn't even respond to my email. All he did was say, literally, where can I send it? I don't know who this is. I take public records requests very seriously, but I'll make you drive two hours away to get them, though. 
and there's nothing in the RSA 91A that says I have to email them to you. Froditor, are you having a temper tantrum? You remind me of a toddler. When they can't get their way, they generally lay down on the floor and cry, and that's about what you're ready to do, because the chief of police will be there shortly. Er, uh, wrong. You're wrong. He's wrong. And your name is also public record. So what is your name? No, you're wrong. Okay. Now I'm going to pull your salary, too. I'm going to make that public. Hope you enjoy. I won't leave here till either she leaves or she gives me her name. There is absolutely no denying it. This frauditor has found a love connection, and he'll stop at nothing to find out this young lady's name. That's the deal. Where's Chief Connors? I don't see Chief Connors. Is that her vehicle? Subaru? Yeah, the email he sent me said, uh, I need your name, your address. Come to find out, it's on the report. And it's on the envelope. My full name. They already know who I am. And I never gave it to them. Which is fine. Listen, Froditor. How long are you going to cry about this to your viewers? Oh my goodness. I'm sure they're sick of hearing about it just like I am editing it. Please, stuff a sock in your mouth. But they know all my information. They know where it goes. They're not busy enough here anyway in Charlestown. I was in town for almost 45 minutes and didn't even hear dispatch go off, so... Oh, oh there's Chief Connors. Here he is. Tyrant Patrol. Hey, Mark, what can I do for you? What's going on, Connors? So you do know who I am, after all, huh? I found out, yeah. Yeah, you found out, but why, did you, do for you? why did you make me drive here two hours for papers? That's what you wanted. That's I want radio question. communications I asked for, too. I don't have that. You have zero radio I communications. I have nothing else for you except for that. You now, we all clearly heard what the chief said. That's all he has. Stay in your lane, Junior, or you could be fitted with a nice pair of shiny bracelets. You didn't say anything on dispatch regarding that call. I have, listen to me. I have nothing else to show you. You know what's funny, Chief Connors? If you want anything else, you call can number. Report. Hold on, Chief. You're going to listen, okay? No. Call number 21 5969. You said you weren't dispatched out there. Second, where is my audio? Read it. I don't want to read it. You didn't even tell me what I was coming here to get. That's what you asked for. No, I right, did listen. not. I asked I'm for not, a lot. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going no, back and forth. No, no. We are going to go back and forth. You're going to sit here and listen to what I have to say, and a thousand other people are going to tell you exactly what to so, say. So listen to me. No, I'm not going to listen to you, Chief. Okay. This frauditor has a serious attitude, which stems from when he was a child and Mommy and Daddy didn't pay enough attention to him. That's what it is, coupled with the fact that kids receive participation trophies for just about everything they do these days, which makes them feel worthwhile. Let me tell you, Frauditor, you're nobody. You're nothing. You're less than zero. You're in negative territory. I asked, you for, I asked you for certain records, okay? You responded with, what is your name? Where do I send it to? I take uh, I take emails very seriously for FOIA requests, which is bull okay? Because you made me drive out here for two two hours to drive out here to get public record that you could email that says it in the statute, okay? That you can and will email it when I ask. Hold on a second. Do you have a bunch of people calling in that this guy incited? I did not incite it. I told them do not call. You are absolutely correct there, Frauditor. You did tell your viewers not to call. Twice, in fact. However, why did you ask for the number to begin with? Now, if you recall, Frauditor, you clearly asked a lady for the number. I think you're going to need a good bail bondsman before it's all over. No, I did not. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Did, he, did you hear him say that? I said, do not call. Okay. Look at my video. You're live with 600 people watching. 700 people. 
a crowd of 700 people watching. Oh, that's quite a bit. If everyone gave $5, that should pay for your legal expenses and spring you out of jail as well. What do you think? You're going to get arrested for... Oh, am I really? Yeah, you better do your investigation and watch a live stream, Listen, Connors. In... You got 700 stop. people. Stop. No, I will not stop, Connors. Are you detaining arrest. me? I am. I'm under arrest. You're under arrest. For what? For instructing... I am not doing that. I am not Turn making around. those phone calls. Turn around, put your hands behind I am back. not making those phone calls. Turn around. Guys, do not back. call. I do apologize, but I had to mute this audio. YouTube doesn't like loud noises. Do not call. Charlestown Police Department... I did not incite these phone calls. I said, do not call Charlestown Police Department. I said, if you have any questions or grievances, you can call dispatch. You're under arrest. Frauditor, we all heard you give out that woman's number. And you can deny it all you want. You're a cop hater. That's all you are. You're a cop hater. And you're not protecting anybody's First Amendment rights. Anybody that goes to your channel and clicks on any one of your videos will see a long list of contacts. And right here is the one for the video we're talking about. And there's the number right in the middle of the screen. So shut your mouth. Go to jail like a good little boy. On your own. Okay. I never told them. You hear this? Guys, do not call. I do not consent to any searches or seizures of my property. Okay, well... You're under arrest, so I'm searching you consent to I arrest. do not consent to any searches or seizures of my property. Guys, do not call the Charlestown Police Department regarding my unlawful arrest and detainment. Stay right here. All right, folks, that's where the potato cam cut off. And I don't know what the outcome of this case is. Now, as you can see by the YouTube landing page for this guy, he's got a lot of videos up there about what happened over in uh, New Hampshire. So if you want to head on over there and check him out, feel free. But I don't think I'm going to do any more videos because his videos are long, drawn out, and he's truly a cop hater. If you enjoy watching imbeciles, idiots, and morons make complete fools of themselves, please subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that.